These may seem to be ordinary railings, but they are actually a vital part of London's World War II story. They are the emergency stretchers used by air raid officers to carry wounded civilians during the Blitz. Thousands of stretchers were produced during the war effort. Now, during the war, many of London's railings were removed so that the metal could be used for the war effort. So many streets suddenly had no railings at all, with short metal stumps left behind. So it made sense when they tried to rebuild the city and tidy up the damage to reuse the old ARP stretchers. Like the British stripping cannons from defeated French ships during the Battle of Trafalgar in the late 18th century and reusing the mass bollards all over London. I very need way to flow the victory of the French. Nice to see local smokers respecting the history. So it is quite incredible to think that these railings, which you might walk past without giving them a moment's notice, a moment's thought, once upon a time were perhaps responsible for saving hundreds of lives. I wonder how Winston Churchill came up with this idea. Maybe from the genocidal hound of Bengal? I don't know. Staying with India, between 15 and 29 million Indians died of starvation in British-induced famines. The most famous example, of course, was the Great Bengal Famine during the Second World War, when 4 million people died because Winston Churchill, deliberately as a matter of written militant policy, proceeded to divert essential supplies from civilians in Bengal to sturdy Tommies and Europeans uh, as reserve stockpiles.